I let ChatGPT pick out a hearing aid for this hearing loss, and here's what happened. Hey guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm letting ChatGPT pick out a hearing aid for my patient's hearing loss and let you know how it did. So back when I was in grad school, I came up with this bright idea to develop a software program that you could enter a bunch of audiologic information into and specifics about a patient's wants and needs when it came to their hearing loss, and it would spit out a recommendation for you. Of course, before investing a ton of time developing this software program, I decided to go around and ask some different audiology students, as well as licensed audiologists, what they thought about this idea. And the overwhelming response was that the idea was horrible. But not for the reasons that you may think. In fact, a lot of people thought that the idea was really cool, especially if the software could stay completely up to date on all the new hearing aids that have come out with all of the different features. Because it takes audiologists a ton of time making sure that they stay up to date with all of these new releases. The reason they thought it was a horrible idea is because they believed that audiologists would not use it because audiologists tend to have their own biases when it comes to hearing aid recommendations anyway. Most clinics only work with one, maybe two different hearing aid brands because it's a lot easier to work with a few brands than it is to work with a lot of different brands. So even if there was a software that could objectively identify a better hearing aid for you, a hearing care professional wouldn't take that recommendation anyway. Hence, the software would have been a huge waste of time. The cool thing is, my idea for hearing aid selection software pretty much exists at this point thanks to ChatGPT. And it's probably better than whatever I would have come up with back in the early 2010s because ChatGPT has access to way more information on different types of hearing losses as well as hearing aids and different feature options. So I think it's time that we ask ChatGPT to give us a hearing aid recommendation to see if it's time for me to look for a new profession. But before I do, make sure that you click the like button. It really helps out the channel because it gets these videos in front of a broader audience. And while you're at it, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, go ahead and do that as well. It is greatly appreciated. And let me know down in the comment section if you have ever asked ChatGPT to give you a recommendation for your hearing loss and what it told you. Right off the bat, I felt that it was best to let ChatGP decide where to start. So I asked a very general question, which was, what is the best hearing aid for me? And pressed enter. Immediately, ChatGPT went into pointing out different variables that would influence its recommendation, such as the key considerations of the type or severity of hearing loss, the need for a hearing evaluation, my lifestyle, and my budget. It then jumped immediately into sharing some of the top over-the-counter hearing aid picks of 2025 from a variety of online sources. Then it went into sharing some of the top prescription hearing aid picks of 2025, which were most of the top hearing aid brands, with some of their previous generation tech or current generation tech. This was followed by a few tech enhanced alternatives such as the AirPods Pro 2 and the Nuance audio glasses. Now while I do have detailed recommendations of virtually all of these different hearing aids that it gave me recommendations for, it doesn't look like they sourced any of that information online to give these recommendations. I will say that the quick comparison was not really that helpful because it did not narrow down the options that much. Chat did finish by telling me what I should do next, including getting a hearing test, identifying my priorities, considering my budget and support needs, and considering a trial period with these hearing aids. Okay, so seeing as how my initial prompt didn't really give me a specific recommendation for a hearing aid, I decided to give it a new prompt. This time I told it that I needed help finding the best hearing aids and what information would you need from me to identify what I should choose. Now it wanted to know about my audiogram results, my specific lifestyle needs, my physical and comfort preferences of the devices, my feature preferences, and other considerations such as do I have tinnitus, what's my ear health like, and what's my budget, which are all great questions to give ChatGPT more context. So I decided to upload an audiogram and provide answers to all of its questions. This is the audiogram that I uploaded into ChatGPT from one of my patients who has single-sided hearing loss. I would consider this to be a relatively easy hearing loss to give a recommendation for because one ear has completely normal hearing and the opposite ear has very little ability to understand speech clearly at only 28% speech understanding. Once I uploaded the audiogram, I gave responses to its questions which were the following. Here's my recent audiogram. I have tinnitus in my right ear. I don't have any other health issues. I struggle most in background noise, understanding the TV, and hearing my wife. I find myself in noisy environments fairly often. I talk on the phone rarely, but do a lot of Zoom calls. I want the hearing aid to be discreet. On a scale of one to five, it would be a three. I don't have any dexterity issues or close vision issues. I would prefer rechargeable. I would like Bluetooth. AI is always a plus. 
Do I even need an audiologist? I have a reasonable budget of $5,000. My top priorities are optimal hearing, invisibility, and rechargeability. Once I hit enter, I eagerly waited its response and it only took a few seconds. The first thing I noticed in the audiogram findings was that it incorrectly interpreted the audiogram indicating that the word recognition score was 60% in the right ear when it was actually only 28% in the right ear. It looks like it misinterpreted the 60 decibels of masking to be word recognition percentage, immediately calling into question the accuracy of the following recommendations. That being said, I still wanted to see if the recommendation was a solid one, even though it had a misinterpretation of the audiogram data. I will say that it did a good job restating my priorities when it worked its way into the hearing aid options for this type of hearing loss. For the right ear, it accurately identified that clarity with a hearing aid may be difficult because of the lower word recognition score, which it thought was 60%. It did recommend a premium hearing aid, although two of the three recommendations, including the Phonak option and the Resound option, were from previous generations. Only the Oticon recommendation was the current generation of technology. Chat did mention that for the left ear, we had three different options. One, you could not treat it at all because it was completely normal hearing in the left ear. Two, you could use a cross system to route the sound from the right side over to the left side. Or three, you could use a hearing aid with minimal amplification in the left ear in addition to a hearing aid in the right ear. Ultimately, if the word recognition score in the right ear was 60% like ChatGPT thought, I would recommend using a hearing aid in that ear because even though the clarity of speech wouldn't be perfect at 100%, 60% is still good enough to typically use a hearing aid. However, you have to remember that this patient only actually had a 28% word recognition score in their right ear, which means that their ability to clearly understand speech in that ear is so low that it may not justify using a hearing aid. In this patient's case, if they're trying to get better clarity of speech information on the right hand side, it probably makes more sense to use a cross transmitter in their right ear and route that sound over to their better hearing left ear to get optimal clarity. I also don't agree with ChatGPT's third recommendation for this patient, which is to use a hearing aid in both of their ears. I don't think that they would run into any issues with balanced perception by aiding the right ear and doing nothing with the left ear. I mean, their left ear is completely normal. I'm talking as normal as can be, and they are likely not going to do well with a hearing aid inside of their normal hearing ear. In fact, it's probably more of a hassle than anything. The crazy thing is, ChatGPT actually made the final recommendation of option three, which was to use a hearing aid in both of their ears because of the primary reason of being able to stream audio into both ears if you're on a Zoom call, as well as being able to get more noise reduction, which Honestly, I can kind of understand the Zoom call thing, but from a noise reduction standpoint, it doesn't take two hearing aids to perform noise reduction. ChatGPT also recommended receiver and canal hearing aid technology, which all have rechargeable options. Interestingly, it did say that in this individual's case, an audiologist adds value due to the necessity of precision with the fitting and fine tuning, and that this patient would benefit from receiving several best practices, including speech and noise testing, real ear measurement, and a cross trial. ChatGPT also warned that this individual should not go with a direct-to-consumer hearing aid option, meaning no over-the-counter hearing aids and no prescription hearing aids purchased online because you would be foregoing a professional hearing aid fitting and it would ultimately be a waste of money. As far as the actual hearing aid that ChatGPT recommended, it did recommend a premium hearing aid in the right ear, either with a previous generation Phonak Lumini 90R or an Oticon Intent 1. For the left ear, a matching support device with low amplification levels or utilization of a cross transmitter to route sound from the right side over to the left side. The features of this hearing aid should include rechargeable, Bluetooth, and AI noise reduction tech, and that this individual should work with an audiologist due to fitting support, real ear verification, and noise management strategies. So what are my thoughts? Well, if you're an audiologist watching this video, you're probably screaming at the top of your lungs that this individual should be going to an ear, nose, and throat specialist due to the asymmetry of their hearing loss. And you know what? I agree with you. You see, when you have one ear that is significantly worse than your other ear, especially when you see it on multiple things on a hearing test, such as the audiogram thresholds, the word recognition scores, and someone reporting that they have tinnitus in only one of their ears, this could be a sign of a serious medical condition like an acoustic neuroma. Any audiologist or ENT would take two seconds to look at this person's audiogram and take in their information that I provided to ChatGPT and say immediately that this person needs to get it checked out. 
If it turned out that there was a tumor growing on their auditory nerve, that tumor would need to be removed because if you let it continue to grow, it can actually press on the brainstem and kill you. If it turns out to be nothing, then it's nothing and you can continue on with traditional hearing aid treatment. And because this was a patient of mine and I did recommend that they go see an ENT who ordered an MRI for them, we identified that they had an acoustic aroma that was three centimeters by one centimeters growing on their auditory nerve. And yes, this was big enough that it did require surgical removal. Of course, even if this individual did not have an acoustic neuroma, ChatGPT did not do a good job of interpreting the audiogram data. By inaccurately identifying a 60% word recognition score in the right ear versus the actual 28% word recognition score in the right ear, this would have totally thrown off the recommendation. And of course, just to test it, I put a hearing aid in this individual's right ear, and sure enough, they came back reporting that everything was louder, but nothing was clear. Fortunately, after this individual went through their surgery to remove Remove their acoustic neuroma, I'm happy to say that they're doing terrific with cross treatment. Now, I don't want to beat up too much on ChatGPT here. I mean, this was just one example for one patient. But I will say that we are not off to a great start here with ChatGPT moonlighting as an audiologist. But let me know what you think about ChatGPT's interpretation of this individual's hearing loss and if you think I should run additional hearing losses through ChatGPT in the future.